Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today Knox are at home to Swansea in the fourth round of the FA Cup. It's the first time we've reached the fourth round since I think the 2011-12 season where we were knocked out by Stevenage. It's the first time we've faced a Premier League side in quite a while as well. I mean we've faced a few Premier League sides or Liverpool even in the League Cup over the last year or a few years. But we've never had a Premier League FA Cup tie. Mainly because you know we haven't really reached the third round at all. Um, since the 2011-12 season, but yeah, it's the first time we've hosted a Premier League team for a while. Let's hope we can do an Oxford and knock out Swansea at an early stage like they did two seasons ago. Come on, Knots. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. So we're here at Woodhouse Station. We're going down very early today. Um, yeah, really excited for this one. Finally, a Premier League team at the lane, like I've said. Yeah in the fourth round we've, I mean over the last few since since we last got to the fourth round we've been knocked up by Rotherham, Hartlepool, Atherton, Salford and Peterborough but finally we got through like I mean this season we've knocked out Bristol Rovers, Oxford City and Brentford along the way to this match today against Swansea. So we are here in Nottingham um, for the game against not the game against Swansea we're here quite early um, yeah I'm really excited for today's game. Hopefully, hopefully today we can pull off another shock in the FA Cup. Um, but like I say, it depends on what formation we play. If we play 4 2 3 1, I think it's a matter of how many Swansea score. If we play 4 4 2, I actually think we can uh, give them quite a decent game. I think we can, you know, look at what Oxford did a few years ago when they knocked out Swansea in the FA Cup. Um, but winning by three goals to two. Jag from the BBC, what's your score prediction for today? Going for a 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Yeah. Take it to the replay at the Liberty. <laughs> So 
one more at the back post. Right, so it's half time, it's not nil, Swansea won. Lots made a decent start, they had a good chance up also in the first in the start. Yes. Good football by Steden here, uh, Steden run, Stead put the cross in and threw it, missed it by inches. But since then Swansea have started to dominate, they've been starting to insert their authority on the game and they've been rewarded with a goal. And as I say, Wilfred Body missed a really good chance to put them on the lock. But they've gone on the lock. I believe it could Charlo Narsin, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, Swansea, we barely had a touch the last 10 minutes and Swansea. Swansea taking the lead, but yeah, there's still another half to go, and we always play better second half, we always say it. <laughs> it's good to watch how a Premier League moves the ball, works the defence and everything like that, it, it's constant, and I think we're doing really, really well to have taken it perhaps as far as we have, and they've had two attempts at goal, I believe, from inside the box, I think we've defended them incredibly well. Um, the problem from an attacking point of view, Grant and Morgan, which are both playing virtually as fullbacks. So we've just got nothing going forward. And let's see what happens. I hope we don't go long ball, but I think we've still got enough while it's one goal, anything can happen. Your view on the officials, how has Mike Jones done? Um, well, can't you tell the difference between decent and decent? Yeah. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. Yeah. They, don't, they clearly don't play League Two every week. Yeah. Mike Jones has done really well in the centre today. He's finally, we've had a good referee at Meadow Lane. Not so out of the second half. Come on! Oh, this is... This is... Yes! yes. Yeah. Oh. George Grant, free header. That's three chances. Three header. So, so nearly. We scored that. We had a free kick that was inches away. And now Grant. It's, it's oh, come on. He can't, he can't get any closer. We're getting so near now. Come on, lots. Young. Here he comes! Great ball for... Yes! The last few minutes we have sat back since we have scored. And Swans have been coming forward, but they haven't really created any clear cut chances. Come on, we can still win this. Yeah. Approaching the 89 minutes, still one more. Not so digging in. Swans and keep coming forward. These are moves we've been really well for Swansea. We're still on the attack, we're hanging in there. Murphy times on the lane. It's still one more, come on. Please stay in there. Away! Oh, he oh, another good chance to make it 2 1 Swansea.
deserved that replay. Well done, Knox. Go on, Simon. Great, great <laughs> draw. Fantastic. That was a proper cup tie. Did enough to have won it in the end with the chances we missed, but on the balance of play, and they, they had far more of the ball and played far better, but we cracked it. And you can't ever ask for any more than that. They put every single player, worked hard, and they didn't leave anything out there today. Fantastic. Playing League Two like that, then definitely going. Yeah. Go on, John, you're for Mike Jones, the referee. Well, you can tell the professional referees, professional uh, officials, because they're a lot better today. But the first half, all Swansea paid them too much respect, in my opinion. Second half, we had a good go. We could have won it. We could Grant have. Mr. Sitter. Grant Mr. Sitter in the second half. Sitter. So we're on the way to get the train back. It's, it's been a fantastic day of football, you know. A really, a really, really good performance by Knox. You know, we dug deep, we hung in there, like I said, many times in this one already. But yeah, it's a good day to be a Knox fan. You know. Um, shout out to Jag, who I've been recording a vlog with from the BBC. It's been really fun filming uh, with Jag today. So yeah, shout out to Jag. But yeah, it's a, it's a good it's a good day for football. You know, the FA Cup magic has the magic of the FA Cup has swung again. Yeah, it's been a good day of football. A really good performance by Knox. Yeah, your thoughts on the on the game, Yannis? Really impressed with Knox today. Commitment, passion, stuck with it, good team. Swansea, good team, good team on the ball, moving around the ball a lot. Dominate possession with it, but Knox worked hard, got the goal, fully deserved it with the second half performance. Roll on Saturday. We are back for Meadow Lane. Knox won, Swansea won, the FA Cup. Anything can happen. Yeah. Knots were brilliant today. They they matched they almost matched Swansea, you know, for their fitness. Yeah, Swansea had Swansea had a few good chances. You know, Bonnie had two really good headers that uh, the first one was saved by Adam Collin and the second one went wide. Adam Collin did all right on his return to the first team, but for me, man of the match was Elliot Hewitt. He absolute ran his socks off out there today, and. You know, he, like I say, he's the legs of the midfield. He's that energy that just keeps going and keeps going no matter what. He will just keep on running. I thought Noor Hussein did very well. He looks very composed and very good on the ball. Stan and Amiobi did what they could. And Johnson, of course, got that equaliser. Grant had a very good game as well. You know, got his assist, got the assist for the, uh, for the goal, but he did have a header, which was agon went agonisingly wide. I can't, like... I can't put how close it was. His free kick also was very close. To, like took a nick, took a nip off the wall and went wide. Port Swansea were decent on the ball. You know they moved it quite well. They just lacked that like, um, cutting edge in the final third where they could have got um, could have got the winner. Like I said, well, uh, Bonnie had two, two very good chances. Also, I've been recording with the BBC today. I'll leave a link on my Twitter page to that. Um, when it comes out, shout out to Jag once again. It's been really fun filming um, with him today. Yeah, of course, some really good stuff. And I will leave a link on my Twitter page when that is out. Um, yeah, we've got a replay at the Liberty Stadium. It's going to be a Tuesday night. It's going to be a long, long trip down, but it's going to be worth it, you know, just, just to be there. Like, this club has transformed over the last 12 months. Take this. Take this into the league, please. Stick with 4-4-2. Just look what 4-4-2 does for you. You know, you went back to 4-4-2 today, Nolan did, and we reaped the rewards because it's the right formation and it works for this team. Get rid of 4 2 3 one now. Just get rid of it. We don't need any more. Just use 4-4-2 from now on. Take this result. Take the confidence from it. Take it into our promotion push. And let's get a striker. Let's get a backup centre-back in. And let's go up. To League One. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Give your thought. Give a comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're already subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. And as always, Zulich.